Hey guys, what's poppin'? You already know it's your boy Jalen back with another video. Yes, you better. Alright guys, so first and foremost, before we start this video, I just want to say subscribe to all my social medias. Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat, everything will be below as you can see so we can get this on and popping for the new year, okay? I just want to say to you guys, Happy New Year and Merry Belated Christmas. If that's what it's, yeah, that's what you say, right? <laughs> Merry belated Christmas. And I'm so excited to be in 2017 and just to really start fresh, have a clean slate, and just, you know, do things that God has, um, you know, planned miraculously for my life. And I'm just super excited to see where this goes. Today, I'm gonna be doing a chit chat grown man video. Well, yeah, chit chat grown man, because I feel like, you know, a lot of women do it, but I feel like men don't really do it on YouTube. So I wanted to take that, I wanted to take in that role to just actually start the chit chat man or chit chat rat video. And also I'm going to be doing a Christmas haul, what I got for Christmas in 2016. And I just want to show you guys the items that I got. I know it's a little bit late, but I've been super busy. Um, and yeah, I'm just going to show you these items that I got from my family and friends, and which is actually pretty crazy because for the most part, I always give um you know during christmas like I, I was always a giver um so when i received a lot of things this year i was like whoa like you know, the stuff i got was super lady guys like the stuff i got was super dope um and me like i really asked for much because i i pretty much have like everything like, i got clothes i got shoes like i don't really know what else you know i really need anyways you know what i mean and on top of that christmas for me is not really about the gifts that i get it's more just about celebrating jesus christ and his life and you know how he's risen for us and things like that so we're gonna go and start with items number one all right the first item is from my cousin you guys probably see me wear this on my Instagram and my snapchat but bruh so my favorite cousin his name is Kyle for those of you guys who don't know check out season one you will see him a lot in those and he's in a couple videos in the season two um, but yes this is a blazer from Zara that he picked up for me and I wore this on New Year's Eve slash New Year's Day and I was just super excited when I got this blazer because we actually went to Zara together and this was probably two weeks prior before Christmas started and I said, oh my God, I want this blazer. It's super dope, it's super lit. Like I need it but I don't have the money to get it right now because I was thinking in my head like, should I really spend almost $200 on this blazer? The blazer was $200. $200 and I was like, uh, I'm not sure so then I was like, you know, what, we'll pass up on it, whatever But then he paid attention because then he started asking me questions like oh, okay cool Like what's your size and like, you know, like how do you like the fit or whatever? But I wasn't taking it in like thinking that he was gonna get me like you know the blazer or something I just thought like he was just asking just to ask so then on Christmas Day I opened up the gift and I seen this bad boy like honestly if y'all y'all don't even understand like I am a Zara head okay I love Zara Zara Urban Planet those are my two like top 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 stores okay and yeah so this is what he got me it was super nice I loved it everybody loved it on New Year's so shout out to Kyle my favorite cousin I love you man and he made this card. He's so funny. He actually did something very different. Um, normally people buy cards and stuff. He actually like wrote it out and like he wrote all the sayings that I say like on my Instagram, Snapchat, Twitter, like all those things that I always say that actually annoy him. And yeah, he said, Merry Christmas, Mr. Fashion Loot Tip. He's been calling me that ever since. Literally and yeah, he just wrote this like long paragraph saying how much he appreciates, appreciates me as his family And yeah, like, you know, Kyle's a super cool guy and like, you know, we are like very very close And yeah, like so shout out to Kyle. You already know when I get big on a poppy, you're gonna be my right hand man right here Okay, so let's go to item number two. Item number two was from one of my faves. Obviously you guys know Alexis J You already know what it is. Hold on. Let me get the card that she got me too. The card says God is good and then it says, and just so you know, I see a lot of his goodness in you. Merry Christmas. Love the card. Super sweet. Um, and she said to Jalen, thank you for being a great friend and for putting up with me. LOL. <laughs> because I damn well put up with Alexis. A lot. And she said, hope you like your gift. K. Like, you have no choice but, but to like it. So, literally, she put that in the card. She said K. But you have no choice but to like it. Like... See what I mean? I have to put it with Alexis all the time. But anyways, thank you so much to my favorite Alexis. I love you, love you so much. And she got me, bam, a fedora. Look at this, bro. Look, look. Do you not see? Yo, do you not see this fedora? Like I, like it's everything. Hold on. Let me put it on real quick. Yo, like the feather though. 
Let's just talk about the feather for two seconds. Let's just do that. Can we do that? Because no, honestly and truly, get it. I love this fedora. It's super, super nice. It's everything. And yeah, actually going on to the third item that I got, actually matches my fedora, guys. So look, on top of that, I got a lot of like money as well for Christmas. So I'm going to count this as a Christmas gift because I use some of my money to buy this, okay? Um, so I got these beautiful, beautiful, okay? Brand new taupe Chelsea boots. These are so bad. Like, let me tell you, for the longest time, I've been wanting like cream or taupe type of um, Chelsea boots. And like, I just never had the intentions of buying them just because I felt like they were too expensive or just things like that, you know what I mean? And then I walked into Steve Madden. So for those of you who don't know, if you wanna know where you can get one of these from, any guys, um, Steve Madden, you already know what it is. Steve Madden is super dope when it comes to their boots and their stuff. So I went to Steve Madden and I was just seeing like, you know, the sales that they had on Boxing Day. And for those of you who don't know that live in the States, Boxing Day is like a Black Friday. Um, so, you know, I was seeing what kind of sales they had and obviously the expensive stores had like some dumb sales, like 25% off, 10 like what am I gonna do with 10% off? Like. Like, what is this? Like, that's not even tax. I walked into Steve Madden and, um, you know, I, I, there was a manager that worked and she was actually a supporter of mine. And I walked in and I was like, hey, I'm just looking for taupe Chelsea boots. Like, do you guys have any? And she's like, oh my God, I know you from YouTube. Oh my God, I know you from here. Oh my God, I know you from here. You're obviously super dope, whatever. So instead of the, um, the 25 off, she gave me half off of the original price. And it was so dope because I think these are like 140. And guys, I'm a shoe lover, so like I don't really care too much about how much I spend on my shoes just because I love shoes. Um, but um, yeah, it was like 140 uh, original price and then it came up to like 70 bucks or like 65 or something like that. And like she saved me half the money and like, you know, so shout out to you, girl. You know who you are. Thank you so much for, um, you know, really hooking her brother up with these. Um, this is super dope. I love them, love them, love them. And I'm definitely going to be wearing them with these. Because look, come on guys. Like perfect combination or nah. So the next gift I got was from my dad and my stepmom on, and I freaking love this. And they got me cologne and not just any ordinary cologne, okay? They got me literally Giorgio Armani. This is expensive. So I was just like, um, like, okay. Anyway, <laughs> so let's open it up. Even came in a fresh box and everything. Um, it was super dope. Let's see here. Our money. <laughs> you know. <laughs> and guys, I wore it for New Year's and everybody was smelling up my neck right, left, and center. I was like, damn, like, chill. But yeah, they were literally, everyone's like, oh my God, what's that smell? What's that smell? Literally, guys, I'm telling you. This right here is a penny dropper. Oh, yeah. But these are only to be worn when you're going out, out to like a ball or a function. And yeah, I'm not gonna wear this. is not an everyday like cologne. You can't wear this every day. You know, you can't. You can't get to save it. You know what I mean? So, shout out to dad and stepmoms. I love you so much for that. The next item I got, items I got were from my mom. And honestly, like, I tell her every year to get me this because it's like the best thing of life. And you guys are gonna be so, you guys are gonna laugh every time when I show you the, these items. But yeah, so every year my mom always does stocking stuffers for me. And like in those stocking stuffers, I always ask her for like deodorant, Colgate, Listerine, like the stuff that you need. And like, bro, you know you're getting old when you ask for things that you need, you know what I mean? And like, yeah, so this is what she got me in the, in the stocking stuffer. Hold on, let me see if I can find the card as well. Dear, Sonny, congratulations on all your success and everything that you've done so far. I will definitely be here every step of the way and I can't wait to see you make it. Much love, mom. And then she said, P.S. We can get your flat screen TV after Christmas. Cause you know, I asked for a flat screen TV, but I'm not a guy who really watches TV anyway. So it's like, if she gets it, if she gets it, if she doesn't, she really doesn't. I'm, I'm just more of a computer guy. So I'm always on the computer like doing research and I can watch stuff on my computer. So it's not really a big deal. Um, and yeah, so thank you so much, mom. I love you so, so much. And I cannot wait to get big so I can put you in that house that I've been wanting to put you in, okay? With God bless and speak it into existence, amen. So she got me in the stocking stuffers, Dove Shea Butter Soap came in it. And let me tell you something. For those of you guys who are honestly wondering how my face stays clean, Honestly, it's this. Literally, you can get this anywhere at any drugstore, any um, Walmart, literally. And guys, I'm telling you right now, this is the only thing that kind of works for my face. Anything that's like shea butter. Wash your face two times a day with this, and I'm telling you, your face will come out looking magical. All right. Obviously, deodorant came in the stocking stuffer. Like, you need 
deodorant, okay guys? Obviously, you gotta smell good all the time. You gotta smell good. And she got me, oh lad, don't make me snatch my head. So she got me my favorite hair scalp and spray. So guys, if you guys wanna know how I keep my hair like neat and clean to keep your hair very moisturized and nice, when you want to leave and go on the road, this is what I use. I think this is this is unisex, so this is for girls and guys. It's hair and scalp spray. Um, yeah, soft sheen Carson. You can go to any um, beauty salon, hair salon, any African American store. Not only does it keep it like moisturized and textured, and it's for people who have extra dry scalps like myself. It also smells good. Okay, so you just smell a good all types of places. All right. Every year, <laughs> my mom always gets me gold and It's so dope. And this is why, yo, the teeth be like. They be shining, they be glistening, cause you know how we do in these streets because Colgate will be killing it. You already know mom, thanks for the Colgate, you already know, you already know. And then she also got me like a bunch of undershirts. Shout out to moms, I love you. But yeah, that's actually pretty dope when you actually get things that you need because then you don't have to go and buy it yourself. Like when you're like, oh, I'm running out of this, I need to get it. Nope, now you have it. So, <laughs> so my grandma gave me a card. Well, my grandma, my grandpa. So shout out to my grandparents, I love you. And um, yeah, in the card had like $100 and they put to Jalen from grandma and grandpa love you so sweet like I just like it's just so sweet I got a card a Christmas card from my manager at work because um, for those of you who don't know I still work part-time but I am working to be a full-time stylist and a full-time youtuber too I love 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 this job just because um she she knows me we follow each other and she gets my whole brand and my statistics so it's really good to have a manager who gets you you know what I mean and gets your brand and, and gets what you want to do in life so shout out to Claudia I really love her so much she's an amazing manager and yeah so she said Jalen aka oh my god it's like my fashion <laughs> And that's another joke because um, every time I'm working at the store, people come in the store and they're like, oh my god, it's you, whatever, whatever. And she sees it all the time and she just starts laughing. So that's why she put that. But anyway, she said, Jalen, aka, oh my god, it's like my fashion. Continue to be the fashionable, outgoing person you are. Thank you so much for your hard work and dedication. You adapted this way. Happy holidays, Claude. Thank you so much, Claudia. I love you so much. You already done know I'm keeping this, girl. You know. What else did I get? So, I oh, oh. You guys already know how I'm a Zara fan. So at work we had Secret Santa. And um, the Secret Santa who got me, this is what they got me, like, oh my God. So her name was Vanessa, so shout out to Vanessa, which is the Secret Santa who chose me. Uh, I love you so much because you literally got me some dope stuff. So she went to Zara, obviously, because I talk about Zara 24 seven when I'm at work. And she literally got me two, um, like a pack of two colognes from Zara. And let me tell you, let me tell you, these bad, you know what, hold on a second. It is, bruh, let me, go San Francisco. <laughs> lad, lad, yeah, yes, mm. you already know. Mm. Yes, Jalen, woo, you better snatch yourself, okay, okay. <laughs> you better put the color now, you better rub it up. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Let me tell you, this right here. I know I said Armani was a diamond dropper, but this is an all clothes dropper. Okay, you know what, Jalen? Stick to your Christianity because you're getting out of hand, all right? But anyway, and I'm not even done. She went, like, the limit was like $20, and she went in. Like, she got me cologne and she got me a $50 gift card to Zara. And, like, honestly and truly, like, you guys already know how I feel about Zara. Zara is everything. And with this um, $50 gift card, because I actually, I got another $50 gift card from my brother and sister. So, shout out to you guys as well. I love you. And I got a bunch of other Zara gift cards. So, yo, I'm telling you guys, if you guys want to send me stuff, Zara. Okay? Zara, Urban Planet. You guys already know what it is in these streets. My birthday is March 24th. Keep that in mind. <laughs> with the card, I got this beautiful beautiful jacket from Zara. It is a maroon jacket and you guys already know how I feel about the color maroon. It's everything and it's a beautiful. Let me just put it on for y'all. Woo! 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 This jacket is just everything. Absolutely obsessed. Love it. Shout out to Vanessa um, for the gift card and my brother and other people who gave me gift cards because I bought this and my gift cards aren't even done so I'm about to go shop again. I'm just waiting for the new collections are, you know? So that was pretty much what I got um, for Christmas um, in 2016. And yeah, just again, shout out to everybody who's got me um, a gift or an item. I really, really did appreciate that. Um, 
like I said, I'm a, I'm a giver, so I wasn't really expecting to, to get anything. But this year I got a bunch of stuff, it was pretty crazy. So again, I love every single one of you guys. Now that that's over, we can get into the chit chat grown man. I mean, I wanted you guys to really get some insight about what has been happening in my life and what is um, expected for 2017. So um, I don't know if anyone has, uh, people who follow me on Snapchat and, and, and you know social media um, will know this, but um, last month I actually did a two weeks detox on social media. And what that was, was um, I deleted all my social media apps. I deleted like everything. So I deleted Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat, Facebook, like anything that had to do with, even YouTube, like anything that had to do with social media, I deleted it. Um, reasons being as to why I deleted it was because I found myself going back into depression. And, you know, depression is not easy. And I felt like I was lost again just because of all the hurt and the pain and all the things that has, um, you know, caused me to really like you know, derail myself as an individual. So I really, really um, lost track for a little bit about what I wanted to do in life. So I really had to just take two steps back, really figure out myself with God and just take this amazing detox. And l thank God I did that just because when I came back, I came back better, I came back fresh, I came back newer, and I came back a very positive individual. And that is what I want to do in 2017. I feel like 2016 really... Okay, if I wasn't a Christian, I would say... I hated 2016, but because I I value God and I value, you know, um, the struggle in my life, I'm going to say it was a learning experience. And what I mean by that is I felt like, you know, there was a lot of things that happened this year to me that was very, very negative and very, very toxic. And I just didn't know how to stem away from that because I'm not a negative and I'm not a toxic guy at all. So when I felt that coming to me, I was just like, okay. But it's like, it happened more than once, you know? It just happened constantly, religiously, and I just I just kept taking it in, taking it in. And when you, when you take in so many things and you hold it in inside of you for so long, you eventually burst and your thermometer becomes low. You know what I mean? And that's exactly what happened. So... You know, which is why I almost led into depression again for um, a second time. I've only been through depression one time, um, but this time it almost happened, but it didn't. So thank God, um, you know, that, you know, I really um, value God and I really, you know, look up to a God who I know is there for me and who does things for me. Because at the end of the day, it's like we have to understand that we need to appreciate our struggle. You know what I mean? Once we appreciate the struggle everything else would become easier. You know what I mean? Because I feel like we're always like, you know, thanking God when we're up, but then when we're down, we don't know how to do that. And that was the problem that I had also. I felt like, you know, I was going through such a struggle that I didn't know how to say that to God. I, I didn't know like what to do in that moment. And I felt like I was embarrassed because I was like, oh my God, I'm here struggling. And like, what is God going to think about this? Like, how is he going to think of me? Or, or you know, how is he going to think of my situations and what I've done and, and, and what, you know, people have done to me? You know what I mean? So at, at the same time, I was really embarrassed as well. But then, you know, just getting closer to the word and really just reading devotionals and really reading, like, you know, really trying to get to know who Jesus is really makes you become a lot stronger um, for yourself, but not only for yourself, but for God. And it really does rise up your faith. So I just really have to thank God just because, you know, I went through a lot of trials and tribulations this year. I mean, last year, I'm saying this year, last year, okay? I can say last year now because, you know, we in 2017 now. But um, yeah, so I went through a lot of trials and tribulations last year and, um, you know, it really made me appreciate the struggle. Like, so many people think that when you have this this status or when you have this following, it's like everything is glitz and glam, everything is is glitter and gold, and, and you know what I mean. And and people just forget to realize that we're we're also people who struggle. And for me, I want to show you guys the reason why. Like if I'm on Snapchat or if I'm on Twitter and I'm ranting, I want you guys to see that just because you guys know that, hey, whoa, Jalen's upset today. Hey, whoa, Jalen's happy today. Hey, whoa, Jalen's excited today. I want to be able to give you guys all of my emotions just because when I do get up here and when I do get up here in status, I want you guys to, to really relate to me and be like, whoa, like, Jalen was this at one point, he was depressed at this point, but he's still here and he, he made it happen. You know what I mean? And that is how I am with you guys as my supporters i feel like i never ever want you guys to ever feel like you are beneath me that was never um a situation that i ever had in mind i never ever want you guys to ever feel like you're beneath me or below me anything that i'm going through you guys are here with me if i'm rising so are you guys if i win you win you know what i mean and that's the 
the the motive that I had in my brain to understand that Jalen, you're not just doing this for yourself. You're doing this for God, but you're also doing this for your supporters. And you guys are a team. So you guys are literally my team. So when I'm going through something, trust and believe. I let you guys know. And I know you guys always ride for me. So, you know, again, thank you guys for always supporting me, even through the struggle. You guys know what I've been through and know certain things that I had to, you know, um, endure this year. So, again, thank you. And yeah, so um, going back into the chit chat, um, I just want to also say to you guys, um, you know, 2017 will be a year of blessing upon blessings. I think it's everybody's time to shine, not just mine, but I think it's your guys' too. Guys, honestly, you know, stop being scared. Um, you know, you will fail. Um, just understand that with failure comes success. And that's what people need to understand. I feel like people think that when they fail, they're just going to fail. And, and that's it. No, you have to really put in your brain that, okay, I'm going to fail, but in the long run, success will definitely happen to me. And that is a situation that I had to um, encounter also on myself. You know, for a lot of months, I felt like I was stagnant and I was like, oh my God, like, I feel like I'm not growing. And like, that's one thing I hate. I hate not growing. Like me as an individual, I'm always growing in something, whether it be work, whether it be, you know, learning something or whether it be doing something, I'm always growing. So when I felt like I wasn't growing, I felt like what the heck is going on? But then also you have to understand that patience is also everything. Um, I felt like I was very impatient in 2016. I felt like I wanted things to happen now, 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 now. And sometimes it's just, it's not on your time. And that's what I, I realized. Like, it's not on my time. It's on God's time. And whenever God, the thing about it is, is like everyone has different blessings. So say if you, you know, see somebody else who gets a bigger blessing and you didn't get a blessing. And you know what I mean? Your job is not to be jealous or, you know, be ignorant to the person who had a bigger blessing, quote unquote. Um, your job is to really just be proud of that person and realize and say that, yo, my time is coming. You know what I mean? Be like, my time is coming. Whether you want to be, and this is for anybody, whether you want to be a nurse, whether you want to be a doctor, whether you want to be a lawyer, whether you want to be a YouTuber, whether you want to be, a, you know, social status, something like that, anything, you just have to have patience, but you also have to work hard because people think that, oh, patience is just sitting around and waiting for to something to happen. No, you actually have to work hard and it will come to you. And that's also something I had to learn. And yeah, this is just a year of just really blessings upon blessings. And I just want to let every single one of you guys know to just really chase your dreams and chase your goals, man. Really, because we live in a society where, you know, the norm is just to, you know, go to school and, and get your degree and, and this and this and that. And I'm not knocking that at all. I'm definitely not knocking that at all because, listen, I went to school. So I have a certificate and I have diplomas and stuff like that. I went to college and I went to university. You know what I mean? But I went to university for two years and then I stopped because fashion really took over my life. And I felt like, you know what, let's take this risk and let's do what we have to do when it comes to fashion. And let me tell you, when you chase your dream, it's not... I cannot stress this. It's not good, not going to be easy at all. It's not going to be easy. And I feel like once you have that registered in your brain, you'll just want to work harder and have passion for what you do in life as well. Always, always, always have passion for what you want to do. Because honestly, when you have passion, you work even harder. So like anything that you want to do. And for me, I just feel like, you know, this year, I'm really going to tap into a lot of um, things. Last year was just about, you know, me growing in God, growing in faith, you know, fashion wise. But this time it's me to take a step into my career, into styling and really just start styling people, whether it be YouTubers, whether it be people, um, you know, regular descent, whether, whether it be, you know, like, you know, Instagram girls or whatever. I just need to start. I just need to step up and really just start styling people. And that which is what I'm going to start doing. I have a lot of stuff in store for you guys in 2017. Um, but I have made a commitment to now keep things to myself because I feel like I want to see you guys excited. You know, I don't want to tell you guys everything that I'm doing. I'd rather just keep it on a hush hush. Um, my motive for 2017 is savage. And what I mean by that is not being a savage in terms of being a rude person or being ignorant or being disrespectful. No, my term, the term savage for me is being a savage for success, being a savage for God, being a savage for your everyday life and goals and dreams. And just, and just really, you know, just really kicking. I can't really say it. I don't swear. Kicking butt if you know what I mean. <laughs> but yeah, so that's pretty much what 2017 is all about. Just being a savage, just really being a savage for success, you know, for God, for Jesus. And I really just rise up because once you have God, you'll never fail. And that's what I had to realize. Once you have God, you will never fail. So if you feel like you're going through a struggle right now, honestly, Jesus will really, 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 really mold you into the person um, that you will destined to become and he will always, always shatter great things for your life. So never, ever give up on yourself and never, ever give up on God because God never gives up on you. And yeah, like I'm just, 
I'm just, um, I'm happier, you know? I'm, I'm just really just, you know, I just feel like 2017 will be a great year. And I'm just super, super excited to really just start showcasing more of my talent and showcasing what I was destined to be, come and do, you know, for the society and the generation. And yeah, I'm just, I think I'm even more happier just because I showcase God with my platform. So it's super, super cool to, you know, really showcase God and really showcase who he is, you know, with the platform that I have, because literally a chunk of my brand is Jesus. And I feel like with that, um, really just celebrating Jesus and really celebrating his success and just really celebrating what he's done for my life is absolutely everything. So, um, yeah, that is uh, what I have planned to do for 2017. And yeah, that's it's going to be super great. And I'm so excited to have you guys up aboard. And I'm just really excited to just really keep the flow going. And yeah, so, you know, like I said before, guys, just really be a savage for your success. Don't worry about haters, okay? Don't worry about haters. Don't worry about fake friends. Don't worry about fake people. Don't worry about none of that, okay? This is your year to shine. And that's pretty much it. I'll, you know, we always focus on the people who, who hurt us and who really damaged us. And you know what? The thing about it is, it's like, you guys had your time. They hurt you. It is what it is. If they decide to come back and apologize, they decide to come back and apologize. If they don't decide to come back, that is not your problem. That is on them. That is not on you. So just really focus on yourself when it comes to, you know, doing what you want in life. And don't worry about other people. Haters, let me tell you something, guys. People will always tell you what you are, who you are, what you should do, how you should do it. And, you know, the thing about it is, is you got to just dust them off. You got to dust them off. For so long, you guys are, you know, I came a long way. For so long, I was just so bothered by people who used to hit on me or comment on, 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 on me as an individual. And then I just sat there and I'm like, are they paying my bills? No. Are they doing things for me? No. Are they really contributing to positive things? No. So why am I really, why am I really investing my time commenting back to people who don't matter? You know what I mean? And ever since then, like, I've been, like, super cool. I see haters' comments and I just brush it off now. I have such a thick skin now that, like, things that come my way are just very, just nonchalant to me. I'm very transparent also. So I will tell you guys, you know, certain things and I will let you guys know about my life because that's just me. That's just how it always was. I'm a transparent guy and I never fake the funk for anybody and I'm as, as real as it gets, okay? So, you know, I'm excited to have you guys again on my journey. And listen, like I said before, chase your dreams, have fun with God, chase your goals, and don't you ever, ever, ever give up on yourself. And remember, failure is going to happen. Once you understand that failure is going to happen, you will get more successful in what you want to do in life. All right? I apologize for, you know, really taking so long to put out a video just because December was a really rough month for me. So I really just had to, you know, step back and really figure out what I wanted to do with, you know, my life, my career. And I finally have a plan and set in motion. So yes, guys, 2017 should be good by the grace of God and we will speak it into existence. So a lot of styling stuff will be happening and I'm super excited to show you guys. So I'm glad that you guys are part of this journey and I will be signing out. It is Jalen here. Lick my fashion. I will see you in the next video. All right. Okay. Shutterstock Music.